for today's video I'm going to be doing Halloween makeup of Snapchat filters um, really hard to put a name to that I've got to think through that first but um, I've seen a few videos like this but I wanted to do my own ones of them Snapchat filters are a big part of everyone's life lately and to have them face painted on your face I think would be really really cool so I did try out three of them I did the all famous dog filter that I am ashamed of using so many times the comic girl filter and then the queen of hearts and I think no one's done these three together at least so I did want to try them and if you want some more snapchat filters then give this video a thumbs up and let's just get into it I wanna feel you on, feel you under my body I wanna feel you on, feel you on Let's start with this face paint crayon thing and it's in brown and then we are going to start by doing the little dog filter nose so it's a kind of like a upside down triangle kind of thing Must be like a light brown. Good for my pores. Uh -uh. <laughs> okay, so now we are going to mattify it down with a bronzer. I'm taking this bronzer from the collection palette to mattify it and make it more strong of a brown because it does quite look orange tone using this old brush because I don't want to use any of my new brushes. Of a shine above the nose so I'm just gonna get a little makeup remover and just do a line where there would be a shine and then we're gonna fill that in with a white eyeshadow I'm gonna do this white eyeshadow right here kind of blend it to make it look a little bit more natural. we're going to take a black and we are going to do the fine little details of the nose orangier toned down brown and I don't have a lighter brown so I'm going to do an orange and then brown over it. I'm going to take this powder in a lighter shade in my cream to make the top half more lighter I guess. <laughs> this is an old powder I don't use anymore. I'm going to take the black to do a line. No makeup artist. We are going to contour a little bit because the filter does make you look a little bit, your face look a bit more sculpted so. some ears so I'm just gonna go and I'll be right back with some ears oh, I love it so much <laughs> you can draw your own I mean see the color contrast from the print I might just be using Halloween <laughs> skin so I'm gonna start by taking my covergirl concealer and just do my under eyes I'm gonna start with the eyebrows start with two three lines like this <laughs> oh my god now the eyeliner again the eyeliner is the key thing for this look taking this blue eyeshadow here and filling out my lid and I don't want to ruin any brushes so I'm going to use this like sponge applicator. This is so weird, this is like applying child's makeup, I swear. 
you know what, we're going to attempt a different strategy. We're going to do a blue face paint and then put the eyeshadow on top of it. By the way, I cannot do eyeliner. Don't judge me. Cannot do it. Take a red lipstick and line my lips in black line. So I'm in a different outfit, this is a different day, and I forgot to talk through the video, so you're stuck with the old-fashioned voiceover, woo! I started by taking the good old face crayons, and I did my lid in red, and then just below the waterline also. So I tried to colour in my brow bone in white, but it just, it didn't really show up. <laughs> and I also had to colour over my eyebrows, so I took, I did a really, really, really annoying thing I took a school glue stick and glued my eyebrow and it kind of worked but I do have quite dark eyebrows so as it's white going over it you could still kind of see it I'm no beauty guru like I don't know if this is what they do I think I saw it a few times people gluing their eyebrows so you know I just tried it first time for everything <laughs> and I know I look weird <laughs> but look, it seemed to work. The white did go over it, just my eyebrows are really dark, that's all. I also took my white eyeshadow just to make the pigment a little bit more stronger and then more mattified down. And I took my red crayon again and I really wish I had something more defined to the red because this is so blotchy and blurry you know what i mean and i tried to do the hearts going from the lid up to the top of the eyebrow in red it was okay it's just i do wish i had something more defined you know what i mean wait no i don't think they were hearts i think they were diamonds see it's so bad i can't even tell i also did my lips in that face crayon so that i could do the little hearts on my lips in the lipstick so it was more bolder i also took my black liner and did a spade under my eye i then took that same black liner and filled out my eyebrow this was a big mistake because it was so hard to get out after. I also filled in my whole other lid in the black liner. I also did three upside down clubs under my eyes, um, going from biggest to smallest. And I lined the heart because that made that any better. <laughs> and then we are done and I do like how it went turned out. I worked really hard on these. My skin did break out just a little bit. Give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Comment down below some more Snapchat filters you'd like me to paint on my face. And I might just do them. Subscribe if you not have not subscribed already. That would be great. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!